Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be long now. Good. Yeah, how are you holding up? I'm fine. She was awake all last night. Well, at least today I'm going to know one way or the other, right? Yeah. All right. You may be seated. Due to the nature of this case, I've taken the maximum amount of time in making my decision. I'm ready to render that decision now. And I'd like to thank the various witnesses in this case for their insight. It seemed to come down to a single issue. Ms. Rollo's right to an education versus the well-being of the other students at the Conservatory of Music. After listening to the expert testimony offered here, I find no indication that Miss Rollo is a threat to the other students. There is overwhelming medical evidence that AIDS is not spread by casual contact. And to deny her the right to seek an education would be a clear violation of her civil rights. I find in favor of the plaintiff, Dawn Court is adjourned. Right. I am so happy. You realize what you've done. You set a precedent here. That's right. People are going to find it harder shutting people out because they have AIDS. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> right on, babe. All right. <laughs> Where is that judge? I want to go buy her the biggest drink in the world, right? <laughs> I think that's such a great idea. I'm sure she has all the rewards she needs just knowing that she did the right thing. I'm so happy for you. I, I feel like celebrating. Well, it's all taken care of. Oh, yeah. Chad and I have already booked Mary's place for oh. a celebration brunch. You guys were that right. sure of yourself, huh? <laughs> she was. You just need to have a little more faith in your fellow man. No, I do. Now. Well, let's go. Come right. on. Oh, listen, there are a lot of press people hanging out by the door. Uh, I can handle them if you want me to. Uh, no. I think, I think I want to say something to them. Uh, Don would like to make a statement, please. Well, it, it's not really a statement. I mean, I never really wrote anything down or anything, but I wanted to go back to school because I'm still me. I'm a person with AIDS, but I'm still a person. And I still like to sing and play piano and listen to Gershwin and Mozart and Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> but I am no more of a threat to anyone now than I was before. But I'm really happy about the outcome of this case today. Because it's not only for myself, it's for other people who have AIDS. It's not going to be as easy to dismiss their humanity and label them as victims rather than people. And I'm really, really happy about that. Um, also, I did not do this all by myself. I had the support of people who love me. And I feel like I'm really lucky today. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Okay. Cheers. All right. So now what happens? You just go back to school? Yeah, I guess so. How do you think it'll be? Well, I don't know. Because the people who started this, you know, I'm not so sure that they've changed their minds yet. Yeah. You know, you're pretty brave. <laughs> what, I am? Yeah, you are. I think I would have just given up. No, you wouldn't have. Not if it was something you really, really wanted. Here I am, talking away. You want something to eat? Are you hungry? Can I get you something? <laughs> you know, you're just like your father. You're always trying to get me to have something to eat. <laughs> well, you know, Pop, Pop thinks that food is a cure for everything. <laughs> I wish it were. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, look, why don't, why don't you get me some of Ada's coffee cake? I hear that it is outrageous. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Here's to your brilliant courtroom technique, my friend. And to your astonishing legal research. <laughs> well, we had right on our side. All right. Oh, boy. I hope I'm welcome at the celebration. You sure are. 
Look, I think I'm going to go talk to Don for a second, right? Yeah, right. right. I don't think your junior partner wants to talk to me. Well, come on now. Just because you are with the other side doesn't mean that you agree with him. I had to do the best I could. Well, Scott knows that. So do I. I'm happy for your client. Oh, sure, thanks. I'm, I'm happy for yours. I mean, they don't want to be known as a school that discriminates against people with AIDS. Looks like we're both happy. Do you want a drink to that? <laughs> I heard the news on my car radio. I am so proud of you. <laughs> Me too. How are you feeling? Have you been getting enough rest? Ooh, watch out for him, Dawn. He knows all the right moves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I heard what happened. Congratulations. Thanks. Jamie said everybody was coming over here, and I just had to stop by. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, any friend of Jamie's is Join the party, <laughs> and uh, there's plenty of orange juice. Join in. <laughs> because it can get cold there at night. And don't sit around in the sun all day long when you don't have anything else to do, because the last thing that you need in a foreign country is a bad sunburn. Yes, Mother. Other than that, have a great time. <laughs> you ever been to Monte Carlo? Yeah. But I was uh, a little older when I first went. That's right. You were you were married pretty young. Mm-hmm. Yes. You're growing up a lot differently than I did. Does that bother you? No, I'm delighted that you're having all of these wonderful opportunities. Yeah, me too. I'm even more delighted that you're handling them in such a level-headed, down-to-earth fashion, which is a quality that you get from your father. <laughs> it must be. Kind of strange getting your memory back. You no, know, no, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to be able to look to the future. To realize how lucky we are. So what's her prognosis now? I don't know. Scott's not saying much. Um, Vicky, do you know? What? Well, I know you're friends with Jamie. I thought he might have told you how Don's doing. Oh, well, he's a wonderful doctor. I'm sure if he can help her, uh, he will. So if I can just calm down long enough so you're I can write my final... You're gonna be just fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, can you imagine that? If I, if I pass my court case and then flunked out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh What's that? Uh, she's got a beeper that tells her when to take her AZT. Really? You have to time it that closely? Yeah. Uh, why don't you let me get you some juice, huh? No, 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 it's okay. I'm, I'm, I can steal some more coffee cake when I'm uh -huh. in the kitchen, okay? Okay. Stay. a little tired, that's all. It's the medicine that has these side effects. You don't have to be the world's best sick person. What do you want me to do? Whenever I ask Scott how you're doing, he always tells me that you're feeling fine. But I've been watching you today. I don't think you're leveling with him. What good is it going to be to tell him? How can he help you if he doesn't know what's going on? But what good is it going to do to tell him? Look at, look at his life right now. I know. Adam Corey just called a little while ago and said that they just transferred his father to a prison hospital. I talked to Adam. Well, so he's got that. And then he's got to come home to me every night. You know, he's living with this just like I am. He's doing what he wants to do. You don't know what it's like for him. And nobody does. I, mean, I don't even know when I'm going to pass out or when I can't keep food down. But he knows all about that. So, so when I'm feeling okay, and, I, and I'm feeling just a little tired, then I don't tell him about it. I don't want you to tell him about it either. If anybody ever asks me what courage is, I wouldn't tell them about you. No. You tell them about your son. You know that I love you. What's going on in here? 
I don't know. You leave the room for two minutes, they're in checking up on you. Uh -huh. I know, it's such a drag. I can't even go to the ladies' room. Uh, nag, 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 nag. Did you take your medicine? Hmm? Yes, sir. Well, good. Mom, thanks for the party. This has been a great day, huh?